Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, no cadre from any political party will be allowed, as it was in the past, to collect revenue that must be collected by the local authorities or central government. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, our administration Madam Speaker, our government will therefore accelerate all of those measures that enhance revenue collection, accountability, application of those resources to benefit the people of Zambia, not individuals. We will strengthen we will strengthen the capacity of our local authorities to enable them to collect their revenues and deliver, I'm repeating, deliver services to our people in an effective and efficient manner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean toilets in the markets, yeah. water, yeah. garbage collection, yeah. paying salaries, yeah. awarding trading licenses on time. Yeah. That's where jobs will come from. Yeah. Madam Speaker, our administration will enhance access to justice, ensure strict adherence to the rule of law, as I said already, and upholding human rights. Very important for development. A free mind is an effective mind. We will safeguard the rights of our people and protect their property. I'm repeating. To this effect, we will strengthen and modernize our institutions of governance to guarantee security, fundamental human rights, civil liberties, and quick dispensation of justice. Yeah. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, the separation of powers among the three arms of government is essential to the upholding of the Constitution and the rule of law. In this regard, our administration will strengthen and preserve the integrity of the principle of separation of powers among the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary as provided for in our Constitution. With respect to the constitutional reforms, government, your government, your government will complete the constitutional reform agenda anchored on a broad-based consensus among all our people. Not a section of our people, but among all our people. Further, we will revive the process of expanding the Bill of Rights to integrate economic, social, and cultural rights. Madam Speaker, our democracy has become a shining example on the continent and the world at large, as evidenced by the just-ended general elections, under difficult conditions, and the peaceful trans transition. Madam Speaker, I shall stay to my text. I shall stay to my text. I don't believe in petitions. I don't believe in wasting money on by-election. Yeah. Yeah. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I beg to move. Madam Speaker, I beg to move. I beg to move. I say so because that's my belief. I'm a believer in prudence, but I'm a believer in the rule of law as well. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, 
Madam Speaker, our democracy has become a shining example. I've said it. Our administration will therefore continue to promote and entrench the tenets of democracy. At all times, the tenets of democracy. To further strengthen our democracy, we will implement electoral reforms to strengthen the independence of the Electoral Commission of Zambia. Yeah. We will also reform the Public Order Act yeah. to facilitate its fair application yeah. and prevent the abuse of the past that we have seen. Yeah. Madam Speaker, with respect to international cooperation and foreign relations, Zambia will effectively engage in bilateral, regional and international levels to maximize to maximize benefits that accrue to our people and our country in the process of engagement. To this effect, our government will pursue economic diplomacy, trade and investment. That's the road we shall work on. We will promote, I repeat, or emph emphatically, to this effect, government will pursue economic diplomacy. We will promote regional economic integration of our continent with this in mind. We will promote peaceful resolution of conflicts. We will ensure effective participation and representation of our citizens and other African nationals in the multilateral agencies. This is important, Madam Speaker. I'm well traveled, and I find Zambians are not there in these institutions. So, we will ensure effective participation and representation of our citizens and other African nationals in multilateral agencies. We will create a professional foreign service to ensure effective representation of the country's interest in all our foreign missions. Even the staff quality that will be going there will reflect this principle. Yeah. Madam Speaker, adherence to national values and principles does not only promote nationalism, patriotism. Peace is important. Unity among our people here at home. Unity and mutual respect. Madam Speaker, I work to your instructions. Ethnic degradation which we experienced should support national unity. I'm talking about mutual respect. I'm talking about avoiding degradation of one against another based on God's choice of who was born where. We saw it in this house. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, we should adhere to national values and principles. We must be nationalistic, we must be patriotic, we must have mutual respect, we must promote peace and unity among our people, but also create a positive influence on work ethics and productivity. In addition, adherence to our national values and principles will create a conducive environment to attract investments that lead to higher growth and employment opportunities for all our citizens. Efforts towards entrenchment of our national values and principles will therefore continue going forward. We want every Zambian to be an embodiment of our national values and principles. Every Zambian. We will make the national motto of One Zambia, One Nation, once more a reality. Not symbolism, but a reality. Madam Speaker, we recognize the important role that our traditional leaders, the church and civil society play in the governance and development of our nation. To this effect, we will undertake policy and legislative reforms to enhance their contribution to national development.
Madam Speaker, to begin to actualize the policy measures I have outlined above under the thematic areas of economic transformation and job creation, human and social development.